The power of one. One person is all it takes very often to start a conversation that sometimes turns into a movement. We saw that with Greta Thunberg, the teenager in high school whose ideas and tweets spread around the whole world, giving people a platform to unite around their concerns for the planet with hashtag climate strike. Look, I saw a version of this in my own home with my 13 year old daughter. She came back from school one day feeling distraught about the environment. She worried that much of this planet will not be habitable in her future. And then I saw her turn her angst into action. Obsessively recycling, spending her Sundays cleaning the ocean and starting to make a mental list of all the products that she used that didn't have a planet friendly footprint. She is certainly not alone. Today's millennials and Gen Z are not just concerned individuals. They're also concerned customers and they're hyper connected via social media. They are power e-commerce shoppers on their mobile phones all day. And they're strongly influencing, if not already making purchasing decisions for their families. Now, as you start to connect these dots, this power of one rapidly turns into a power of many. Twitter often acts as a virtual town hall and sees a lot of open conversation and debate. And off late, we've noticed an emerging mega trend around conversations about the environment. Our research actually shows that younger audiences are seeking out brands with a purpose. One out of two users strongly believes that helping the environment is incredibly important to them. And they're holding themselves and their communities to much higher standards when it comes to respecting the planet. Whether it's adopting diets to clean living, to using metal straws, and even choosing to live in tiny homes in order to reduce their impact on the environment. They also expect much more from companies than just selling products. They increasingly expect that companies play a larger role in societal issues. More than half of Twitter's users will say that they would actually pay more for sustainable, eco-friendly products. So are brands taking notice? While the intent from these consumers to adopt planet-friendly products and services is high, when we see the reality on ground, just you know, reflected in the variety of these options available in stores or the sales of these categories, the picture doesn't quite add up yet. And I wonder why then are we seeing this gap between intention and action? A research firm, Brandscapes, recently undertook an ethnographic study analyzing tons of social data. And the study has some clues that may start to explain this gap. While it's true that consumers are rewarding brands who are setting the right example today, there is a risk that brands could fall into long term, which is sustainability being consistently associated with expensive or higher end consumption. Look, just by the nature of economics and how that will play out, this risks sustainability continuing to be a very niche concept. But if we start to inspect the psychology and the notion behind reduce, reuse, recycle in more depth, consumers might be subliminally asking, if less is being used, if materials are being reused, if elements are being eliminated, how then are prices rising? Admittedly, I'm oversimplifying here. The quandary that we're faced with is whether companies should be adding this cost burden of sustainability to products that do right by the planet versus the ones that don't, thereby making sustainable products 
more expensive to purchase. Doesn't it seem like we have it backwards? So what does sustainability done right look like? I'll give you a few examples. Unilever is trialing refillable kiosks in the Philippines and in Indonesia to sell shampoos and soaps without packaging. Lazada's Red Mart e-commerce site offers a few delivery slots every day tagged as lower carbon footprint at no extra charge. And cosmetics and bath brand Lush is piloting packaging free soaps um, in most of these examples, the products or services av are available at either the same price or, in fact, 10 to 15 percent lower price point. Helping consumers make that choice around sustainable offering comfortably. So why then are we not seeing a tidal shift in product innovation, in packaging, in supply chains yet? Corporates, frankly, need a revolution and not an evolution in their thinking about sustainability and climate. People see their friends buying local products or they see their social connections tweeting about growing their own food. This type of social proof drives rapid change, change that comes with trending hashtags and with social movements in weeks and months, not in years. Will brands be ready to react in time? It is clear consumers have stated both their preference and their intention. They would like to have sustainable choices and they will vote with their dollars. Just as it takes only one consumer to start a movement, it also takes only one brand to create a sustainable offering for the consumer at the right price and convenience. And that could change the entire industry. The question corporations have to answer, will you be that one? Thank you.